you don't have time to go everywhere in your travels, you can go to what's called an antenna shop. It basically is a place that showcases some of the foods, drinks, arts, crafts, and music of different parts of Japan. So, you know, we call it a state or province in the U.S. Well, here it's a prefecture. It may not be the same thing, but let's call it the same for now. So, let's say you want to go to Hokkaido, Okinawa, and Ishikawa to see Kenroko in the park. There's not always time to do it all. So Tokyo gives you a little sample, at least of the food and some of the, the art. And you could go to places like this. So, in Ginza, and this is convenient, right in front of Ichome Station, on the uh, Yurakcho line, you can go to Ishikawa. Probably should put a mask on, but... So you have products that are famous from that prefecture, or at least products that they want to introduce to others. And they'll do seasonal things too. That's why you'll see a lot of grapes and sweet potato this time of year. So this particular one, like most things in Japan, it just looks very clean, welcoming. And some of the products aren't necessarily famous from that region, but it just has those influences, or they want to show off just things from that area. So we have wrapping paper, and what is this, a pin cushion? Let's see, jewelry. This is tourism advice and event space. And that is the famous symbol of Kenroku Garden, Kenroku Inn. And downstairs, liquor and seafood. So let's see. I'm waiting for that one tap on the shoulder to say, no, 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 you can't film here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is Ishiru, uh, Ishiri. It's the old time soy sauce, not really soy sauce, but it's made from fermented sardines. I was talking about in another video. Salt koji, different salts. So it's pretty cool very comprehensive little bite of places that you may not have time to visit on, when you're in Japan. So, where else can you visit? This is the antenna shop for Kochi Prefecture, really one of my underrated favorites in the country for its warayaki, its katsuo warayaki, which is um, straw grilled katsuo fish, and it's also the home of my favorite citrus fruit, well one of them I suppose, yuzu. Yuzu. Now this is yuzu tea, but it's the home of the yuzu, and I'm happy to show off this prefecture because the city, it's, it's a small city, but it's this fun, fun vibe, good bars, nice botanical garden, and yuzu everywhere. So if you really enjoy that flavor, yuzu, you can get it in so many different things. Mm -hmm. Yuzu pepper. Look at all these soy sauces and ketchup for whatever reason. Now, which is the QP Mayonnaise Prefecture? Because that's the one I'm going to stay away from. But these shops are very cool. And just a block up, half a block up from that Ishikawa Prefecture store, you have the Okinawa store with its famous shishi. Shishi are the guardian lions. Bitter gourd, mango, bitter gourd, called Goya in the Ryukyu language. Orion beer. This is the most famous beer from Okinawa. And this is the bitter gourd tea. I really enjoy it. This says, <laughs> you see this a lot everywhere. It's called, Okin this says Okinawa Gente. It means limited in Okinawa. Obviously not, you can buy in Tokyo now too. Huh? I'd have time to translate for you, but now is not the time. Whoa. This is seaweed from Okinawa. Definitely can't risk taking that back home, unfortunately. A bottle of peanuts, which they call peas. And one of my favorite desserts in Japan, this is the Okinawan donut. Sata Andagi. 
and the most popular one down there is Kokuto Black Sugar. But they seem to have other flavors here I didn't see the other day. Seaweed Tempura, that's pretty cool. And Pepper Ice Cream. Shikawasa, it's a citrus fruit from Okinawa. Taro Cheesecake Ice Cream. Pistachio, which seems to be really popular right now. And Sugar Cane. Salt Cookie. So that's pretty cool. And they love their pork down in Okinawa. Lots of pig's ears. And, where is it? Gotta find it. There it is, taco rice. And you thought I couldn't find it. And spam musubi, or tulip. So, really great diet brought to you by the military, the US military. How interesting. potato pie. The Orion is strong with this one. So, you could leave from Okinawa in Tokyo. So that's pretty cool. Didn't have time to go now. Now we can walk into Hokkaido. It really is one of the best places in Japan for dairy, melons, corn, miso, ramen, rice, which has branches in the U.S., so it's fair. But I think they have some of the best food, the seafood for sure, without a doubt. Salmon ikura, which is salmon roe. Um, other seafood, croquet, which is fried things, so you don't really need them. So you must. Hokkaido is a majorly popular place for food. Certainly for dairy. But where is the seafood? Aha. Hmm. Scallop. Uni. Ika shiukara, which is a very salty squid, mushy squid. And they're also famous for Nika whiskey. I don't know what that means. Let's see. Where's the seafood? Sinosan. I know Kaisen no Hate no Hateru Don, what do you know? Bento. Bento. Strawberry butter jam. Dreams. That sounds good. Yeah. Sketch. So, it's pretty cool. Come to Ginza if you want to try the food of Japan and you don't have enough time to do so.